back to another video. Um, I'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit croaky, I've like woken up with a really sore throat. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be comparing these two pencil sharpeners um, because I've been using this new one for about a week. So I thought it was about time I did a little review of it. So usually I use the Rapesco 74, which is this one. They're both manual, like crank handle ones. Um, but I have recently switched to this Swordfish uh, Icon. I think it's an icon. It's a bit smaller. Um, it's much lighter. Like this one's really heavy. This one's a lot lighter. Um, and currently I am preferring the Swordfish because I just think with this one you get a nice sharp point, but it's kind of flat on the top, whereas this one isn't so much. So I have some new pencils which I can sharpen and show you. Okay, so I will use this, as you can see, like Polychromos, I will use in the Repesco. So the Polychromos, I'm just going to sharpen in the Repesco. So obviously you squeeze together the two top parts and pull it out and to probably hold it out. And then you push your pencil in until it gets to a point where it can't go in any further. And then you just wind that and then when it gets sharp you will feel that kind of like slack that it will stop sharpening so you just squeeze them together and pull it out and you get a nice long point like that so hopefully you can see that you get a nice long point like that and then do the same with the swordfish but the buttons on the side so you just press the button and pull it out you hold it down and push the pencil sharpener in the only problem I have with the swordfish is it doesn't quite fit the luminance like they'll go in but um, if you look at this one, it's like really smooth to the pencil when it's sharpened. With the luminance, it kind of gets like a little ridge where it can't completely do it smoothly because they just don't fit. So, same process, just wind it. And then when they're sharp, it will stop sharpening. So, the lead isn't as long on the swordfish, but I think. I find it's sharper so you can get a bit more detail out of it. Um, it also seems a bit more stable because it's not as long. It doesn't break off, like the tip doesn't break off as much. Um, I think this one, the Repesco, I think it's around £12 on Amazon. And the Swordfish I got for about £8 on Amazon. So it is cheaper and I am... Um, Definitely enjoying it more than the Repesco currently. Um, but yeah, that is my only dig with it, is it doesn't quite fit. You get like a, there's a little bump just there. I mean, it's not a problem while you're working. It doesn't interfere or anything. It just, it's not as smooth as the transition between these two. So yeah, that is my little review of these two sharpeners. Um, I have got another one, which... So these are my mechanical sharpeners, and then I have been using, or I usually use, the Faber-Castell Trio Pot sharpener. Um, like when my pencils get too short and they're in an extender and they no longer will fit in the mechanicals, I will um, use this. But based on Amy Howard's recommendation, I got one of these Coombe sharpeners, and it's got two holes and... This is working out quite well as well, so I'll do a separate review comparing these two. But yeah, that's that's my review. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. I don't know if it's going to focus enough for you to see these, but um, hopefully it will. But you can see, they're both pretty good points. Um... No, it's not going to focus. But yeah, they're both pretty good points. I am definitely favouring the Swordfish currently, though. 
um, I'll put links in the description of where you can get both of them on Amazon. Um, I'm not sure if Jackson's do them, I haven't looked. I just got this one on Amazon and this was present for my mum. So yeah, <laughs> it's not a particularly long video but I hope it has given a bit of an idea of the pencil sharpeners that I use. So I hope it's been helpful. If you are interested in drawing tutorials then head on over to my Patreon. I have just uploaded um, this month's colouring sheets and a bunch of henna design sheets as well so they're definitely fun to check out. Okay, I'll see you again next time guys. Mm -hmm.